Hello, my name is Erin Granger. I'm an academic advisor for psychology students here at UCF. This presentation is going to go over what is needed for the psychology degree, including how to read the My UCF My Night degree audit. When you pull up your My Night audit on My UCF, it'll list your major, your track, your catalog year, and any minors or certificates that you might be pursuing. If you leave the audit alone and don't click the collapse all or expand all, you'll see requirements that you still need to complete. If you expand all, you'll see all the requirements, including requirements you've already completed. You can click view report as a PDF, so that way you can look at all of your audit, including your course history, and take notes and save if you want to. The first requirements on your My Night Audit will be the general education program courses. If these are collapsed, that means they're already met. Maybe you completed an AA degree prior to transferring, or maybe you already completed those requirements. If you have questions about the general education program classes, connect with your COSIS advisor. You can email them COSIS at ucf.edu or go to their website to find out how to meet with them. If you're not transferring in with the AA degree or don't have your general education program requirements met, there are some requirements that are important for psychology students. For example, the math foundation number eight should be met with statistics as psychology is a stats-based major. And for general education number nine, of course, you'll take general or introduction to psychology. Since psychology is a Bachelor of Science at UCF, we do focus on sciences. So for the general education program requirement number 11, the physical science, if you choose any of the sciences in the list that's not astronomy, it'll count for your psych major science as well. And then for Gen Ed number 12, biology is required for psychology majors. So you want to choose the principles of biology or biology one to meet this. In your interactive audit underneath the general education program requirements, you'll see state requirements such as the minimum 120 unduplicated semester units. Everyone earning a bachelor's degree needs to complete at least 120 credit hours. For your psychology requirements, it doesn't always equal 120, so you might be, have room to add a minor or certificate, take additional electives, or do internship to help meet those 120 credit hours. Taking too many credits could be an issue with financial aid, and might accumulate to excess hour fees. Of your 120 hours, 42 of those hours need to be upper level. These classes start with a 3,000 or 4,000 in their number and they're junior, senior level classes. Underneath your credit hours, you'll see your GPAs. The first one's going to be your UCF GPA. This is all the classes you've taken at UCF. If it says zero, it might mean it's your first semester. Your UCF's GPA is going to start off at zero, so you have the opportunity to start off strong. Underneath your UCF GPA is going to be your overall GPA. These are all the classes you've done at any college you've attended. After the credit hours and the GPA and the general education program classes, you'll finally get to the psychology major requirements. One of the first requirements listed is the college level foreign language. So this major of psychology does require college level language. Not all majors at UCF requires college level language, but psychology and other social sciences are typically looking for level two of a language. If you're already proficient or fluent in a language, you can just test out with the testing center. There's the FLATS or CLEP exam, or maybe you did three or four years of the language in high school. You can just jump into level two most likely and meet it with just one class. Otherwise, you're gonna start at level one before taking required level two to meet the college level foreign language requirement. The common program prerequisites are the core requirements. So instead of saying it twice, we're just gonna go over the core requirements for psychology. All psychology majors need general psychology. All psychology majors need a biology. You can take either principles of bio or BSc 2010 general biology one, depending on what your goals are for science or health field. And then you need statistics, either STA 2014 or STA 2023 stat methods one, we recommend STAT Methods 1, STA 2023, since a lot of our psych students are interested in going on to the doctoral level and want to continue with st statistics and research. But the prereq for STA 2023 is going to be finite math or college algebra, so make sure you take those first. 
So you want to take care of general psych, biology, and statistics sooner than later, as these may be prereqs for other requirements for psychology. The advanced core requirements are needed for all psychology majors, no matter which track you're choosing. You'll need to complete all of these classes, but you can take these classes along with your prereqs and your other requirements that we're going to go over. For your advanced core requirements, you'll want to take PSY 3024 Career Readiness 1 in your first semester, PSY 3074 Career Readiness 2 in your second semester, and then later we'll talk about Capstone, which is going to be in your last semester. Those three classes are S or U graded, satisfactory or unsatisfactory. They don't affect your GPA, you just need to pass the class to meet the requirement. There are also only two credit hours, so make sure you are managing your schedule appropriately depending on if you need financial aid, you need to be full-time or half-time status. You'll complete the statistics courses in the order. First is regular statistics, we talked about before, either STA 2014 or STA 2023. After your basic statistics, go right into stats and psychology, PSY 3204C, sooner rather than later, since psychology is a stats-based field. After stats and psychology, then you'll take research methods in psychology, PSY 3213C, and same thing, go back to back on those ones if you can, so that way you might want to get involved in research assistant experience with a faculty member, you already have those classes underway. You might already have developmental psychology done, so don't take it again if you do. Um, and then you need social psychology, physio psych, and cognitive psych. You can take those really in any order. Um, I do recommend you take history of psych later, as you're going to learn some history of psych, and it might help with as a review instead of all brand new information. You do need to be at least a junior to take history of psychology. All psychology majors, no matter which track, will choose a diversity elective. There's four options to choose from. They're typically online classes, so if you're looking for a face-to-face -face version of diversity, it's more likely to be online. For the track electives, every psych major is going to choose a track. There are five classes each. You'll want to choose a track based on your interests, but your interests can change and your track can change. Your diploma is still going to list a Bachelor of Science in Psychology no matter which track you choose, so there's really no wrong answer, it's completely up to you. The clinical psychology track focuses on the study, diagnosis, and treatment of mental, emotional, and behavioral disorders. For this track, you need abnormal psych and four of the electives listed. If you already took abnormal psych prior to transferring to UCF, then don't take it again. We'll use that abnormal, even if it's a different code. The industrial organizational psychology track focuses on understanding the productivity, management, and employee working styles to improve the quality of life related to the workplace. For this track, you need the industrial organizational psych class and four of the electives listed. For the human factor psychology track, this focuses on applying human behavior to the design and use of products, systems, tools, and environments for comfortable human use. It's also called engineering psychology. Human factors Site classes needed and four of the electives listed. For the neuroscience track, it's about understanding how brain affects the cognitive function and behavior. You'll need to take the neuropsych class, which you can see physiological psych is a prereq for, and four of the electives listed. For the experimental track, this is about focusing on the design, analysis, and dissemination of research through experimentation related to behavior. For this track, you need any five of the experimental classes listed. And then if you're not sure which track you want to do, or doesn't really fit into a particular track of what you like, or maybe you want to mix a couple tracks together, then you can just do the general track. That's any five site classes. Because we're a Bachelor of Science, you do need two sciences besides the biology requirement and they're going to be listed in the catalog online, or you can always reach out to Psych Advising for the list of sciences. You might have a science if you're transferring in, and we talked about in the general ed number 11, one of those physical sciences will count as long as you're not taking astronomy. So besides biology, you need two sciences, and we can give you the list if you email Psych Advising. The last requirement is psychology capstone. You're going to take this in your last semester like the Career Readiness 1 and Career Readiness 2, it's only two credits, it's SRU graded. 
These classes are also only online, so you won't find a face-to-face -face version of these. Our capstone for psychology is more a review of the classes you've done previously, so you'll have your core classes done. You definitely need to have physio psych, research methods in psych, and history and systems of psych either completed or taking at the same time to be able to register for capstone. If you ever have any questions about your psychology degree, your degree audit, or anything else, just email the Psych Advising Center, psychadvising at ucf.edu, and myself or another advisor will get back to you in a couple business days or sooner.